Hi, I'm Brad Bowman. I'm the political reporter for the State Journal here, and I'm going to show you how to go from being just a formerly dressed man to being a gentleman on how to tie a bow tie. You have two fish pieces. You want to move one part of that up towards your collarbone right there. So it's shorter there, longer there. You'll take your longer piece, put it over at the top, just like you're tying a shoelace, up and over. And you'll make a nice snug knot right there in the center by your collarbone. So you have one piece, it's just a tad bit longer. So it should look relatively like that, just a little longer than your initial piece. And you'll put that to the side. Then take this piece, you're basically going to take your finger and divide that behind it to make your first bow. That is your first fold. So it looks something like that. So you go behind it and hold that in place with your finger. Then you'll take this piece and put it over top of the middle of that bow, like so. Now the easiest way to do this, if you have thicker material, is to make sure that that's nice and pleated out, or I mean smoothed out, so that it doesn't look wrinkled. But with this one, this is thin material, so it'll be a little wrinkled to begin with. Take both the edges of those two, hold them together, and then what you have created is a loop right here for the other part to go through. So hold this in one hand, you'll take this other part where you will fold it like a bowl, this bow as well, and push it through this loop in the back. And the one hard part that people don't realize about tying a bow tie is that it's a fluid state of things, so to say. So basically what you've done is you have made the knot by putting it through that loop. You'll take your two folded edges now that you have through here and pull on those together, like so, to make your knot the knot of your bow tie. Okay, so a lot of people don't realize that the bow tie is kind of in a fluid shape. You can shape it after you've tied this knot. So what you want to do, once you've tied it, is once again, take your, take your looped front, your loop back, tighten it as much as you need to, and then pull the other sides to loosen it again if you need to, and kind of shape the bow to get it where you want it. So with this one, let's kind of move it. To where it looks symmetrical. And then you're ready really to just put your collar down and show off your fine work. This is a skill set not a lot of people have. 